whatever. So, uh, this is another episode of As Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. That's oh, like, we're swirling. Uh, I'm swirling. So, I gotta say, time. we're sitting here getting ready to do this. So I'm like looking at it. I was like, oh, that must be a Best Buy date. <laughs> and Mike's like, why? I showed it to him. He's like, yeah, what? I was like, it's a Best Buy date. It's uh, January 31st, 2024. And uh, we got this beer from our uh, friend Tim. And time traveling. <laughs> Tim time traveling. Tim. Uh, but this is uh, from Big Ditch Brewery. <laughs> I don't even think you're really Buffalo, New York. what you're talking about. Hold on, I will, I will. Uh, okay. This is a Flow Rider, and this is a Citrus Blonde Ale, Grapefruit, Lime, and Orange. Oh, it sounds But delicious. I'm looking at the date, and I was like, Tim must be a time traveler. And Mike's like, what are you talking Why? I was like, that day hasn't happened yet. He's like, yes, yeah, 2024. I was like, Dad, it hasn't happened yet. He's like, bro, January's the first month. <laughs> We're past it. I don't know why it's I was cold. thinking January was the last month of the year. Point is, time traveling Tim gave us this beer, and uh, I can't wait to try it. It's going to be great. <laughs> or it's going to taste like space-time continuums. Man, it is rumbling outside. Right? A good day to sit around and uh, drink some beers. Not such a good day to... Did you ever see the fire up the glizzies on the old grillsies? <laughs> Did you ever see the the like the weird things on YouTube and Reddit? I've seen many weird no, things. No, but this like is one of those weird things. About I time know. travel. And then there's that all always that one photo of like the nineteen twenties or whatever. And oh, there's yeah. this guy in the crowd. Like the person at the Tyson fight with a freaking yeah iPod or whatever. Yeah, it was. yeah. And the, the woman with the cell phone. The dude with the Ray Bans on. Yeah, yeah. All that yeah. nonsense. Yeah. Nonsense? You don't believe it? I almost believed it, but then Tim just gave us an old beer. Uh, the Tyson one's a yeah, the Tyson good. one's pretty great. Yeah. I still believe uh Tim is a time traveler. I will be referring to him as such for the foreseeable future. It looks like a blonde ale. Looks like a blonde ale. Clear uh, beer. Light straw haze. Yeah, a couple, couple of fingers of uh Nice white. foamy head. Oh, yeah. It, it's kind of... The yeah. foam kind of nice. shells. Oh. Mm. That is... Ooh, that is pithy grapefruit. Yeah. And then the lime. Just blasted. That's in Big face. Ditches from Buffalo. No, because you have a real hard time saying things are from Buffalo. I just don't like resurgence. Man, that smells crisp. A little tart. Very fruity, fresh fruity. That, that lime. Oh, I love the it. The grapefruit, it's... What the hell does this remind me of? It reminds me of, like, if I was drinking a Pacifico. Pitted. For Quanto. Ole. That, I think they just put Get Pitted back out. I'm That's what I... Uh, stop, I can get some. All right, let's uh, dive Plus dive in. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Thanks, Tim. Time travel. So here's the thing, I'm not gonna smell all day on the because it, it literally grapefruit, lime, and orange. You get all three. That's Ooh. Oh, I forgot there was orange in it. Hmm? I forgot there was orange in it. It is all grapefruit lime for me. Really? So I, I get a little orange. A little orange Julius. Oh man. But that you're right. The, the grapefruit and lime. Uh, is the grapefruit and lime is front and center for me. It's ah oh, man, it's it's crisp, but it's not as crisp. As I thought it was going to be. Light, light crusher of a, it's a summer beer. All day. All day. Although it's interesting they released mm. it in January. I was just going to say that. I was like, why did you put this out in January? Well, because. I guess we didn't really Because you want to know why? Because when it's June and they should be releasing it, they're getting ready to gear up and pump out the Oktoberfest. Are you sure it's in January? And pumpkin beers. It didn't say June 31st. And <gasps> Tim's a time traveler. I knew it. Um, yeah, this is very refreshing. Uh, it, so, I will say it's got a bit of a multi backbone, mm -hmm. but it might be due with some little age on it. I, I really like the uh, blonde L base to it because yeah. it, I, I like the little kind of straw grassiness in the back. He's, the thing is, they say the blonde L is like the most boring beer. I don't think it, I community. think it's so versatile. Like it is vers on its own though. A base blonde beer, it's like yeah. I don't know. I, I think it's more, it's a higher end, like cheap beer. Cause it's usually crisp, clean with a hint of like a lemony zest to it. Whereas a lot of your cheap macro beers are crisp, clean with a little bit of an orange citrus. Yeah. So I, I, think yeah. that, I think that orange kind of 
it's there, but it's a very uh, man. It's raining. Um, <laughs> the the lime, the lime pops for me. Mm. It's almost like Fruit Loops. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, like a Fruit Loops kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's not much pith or bitterness to go along, but there is a bit of. I, I think there's a decent amount of pith to it. Like there's yeah. definitely a grapefruit rind flavor to it. I, lemon. I would say it finishes rind. dry. Uh, there, there's a juicy, there's a juicy aspect, but it's kind of like in the middle of the palate, and then it goes away. Uh, I get like Blondel right up front, some juiciness, and then it dries see, off. See, I can see this is something I get like the Jenny Brew House that they do. Or oh something, yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. Here's our Jenny New Cream Ale or whatever. You know, here's our winter citrus fruits instead Here, here's of our, dark Schwartz beer. It, it, here's our Kolsch, our new Kolsch. Yeah, but it, it's yeah, basically. Um, I really like it. This is really good. I give it a three five. Um, I'll give it a four. This is this is really good. You would even for being a, a future past beer. Days of future past. This beer's for X Men. All right, we're gonna go. Got anything else you want to say? Back to the future. Thanks for watching, everybody, and thanks time traveling, Tim. Greer Scott. It's heavy.